haven't y'all tried miracle food yet miracle food mega food miracle foods miracle food miracle food miracle food miracle food miracle food please support your black businesses and support your health this is a tool to genuinely heal people it's through the roof i feel like i'm low-key levitating in this bitch this should be in your cabinet <laughs> what up what up y'all it's your man sam and here at vile hip-hop news go ahead and hit that like button smash that notification bell and if you're not subscribed to vile hip-hop news ladies and gentlemen what are you waiting for subscribe right now to the brand appreciate each and every one of y'all all right let's get to work it is already the seventh month of 2022 it is crazy that july is here one of my favorite times of the year mainly because of my two beautiful children my eldest my firstborn the heir to the throne my man jay his birthday is july 3rd man 14 years ago almost to the date exactly i became a father and it has been absolutely phenomenal ever since the day I watched him take his first breath. And of course, my girl, my baby girl, my princess, my love of my life, my beautiful daughter, Amaya, who's born on July 14th to be seven very soon. Love this time of year, man. This is just a time for me to celebrate my children, celebrate why I do what I do and why I work so hard and just salute and blessings to my beautiful family. But also, and crazy as this is to believe, Bill Cosby got out a year ago around this time i think it was june 28th 29th maybe the 30th but it was around this time that he got out of prison he was dropping a celebratory um he did a celebratory interview as well as doing some things to commemorate one year being out he did an exclusive interview live with philadelphia's wdas fm 105.3 with the beautiful miss frankie darcel you guys can check that out on her instagram but i'm gonna play a small clip of Bill Cosby in a rare interview speaking. Um, we haven't really heard him talk much since his incarceration. V very few things here or there. But he, he sat back and he was very candid about some things. And I'll play a little bit of a clip of the interview. If you want to hear the interview in its entirety, go to Andrew Wyatt, Bill Cosby representative. You can go on his Instagram or I'm sure you can find it on Philadelphia WDAS FM's YouTube channel or platform, wherever that may be going to play a clip right now of bill cosby speaking about his time in prison saying how prison saved his life and how he was a mentor to some of the inmates in there going through hard times make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the brand viral hip-hop news and of course comment on what you heard comment about bill cosby's conviction a year later how your feelings what do you think about it what do you think about what you're going to hear from Mr. Cosby himself. Let me know in the comment section below. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Sam and CEO of the brand Viral Hip Hop News. Love y'all. Let's hear it. Today, you were released from SCI Phoenix, the state penitentiary. I did have the opportunity, and it's now it's public, to see the behind the scenes uh, and, and listen to your description of the day they woke you up where you had no idea that you would be released from the state penitentiary. Um, just revisit that moment when you got into that car and you were on your way home. Well, I think one of the most important things was that that moment they, they allowed uh, Andrew to to come into the enclosed garage, which of course is loaded with uh, officers and security. So the only time that I got to that point on the compound was when I I went in, and the prison really saved my life because um, they found that uh, there was a doctor there who took a sonogram, I think it was, of my artery, the carotid artery, mm -hmm. left and right, and found that they were both blocked 90 and 88 percent. Hmm. So I went to surgery twice while uh, 
incarcerated, and this Dr. Uribe, Uribe is his name, he did a magnificent job of cleaning up the arteries. So, I, I, look, why, why not eat properly? Mm-hmm, why not mm-hmm, behave? Mm-hmm. Why not do one's exercises, uh, cardiovascular? And um, I thank I thank them for that. But getting back to answering your question, being unsighted, uh, they rolled me out in in the wheelchair. By the way, with me also was a chaplain, Protestant chaplain, and I think his last name is pronounced Comedy or Comedy, sound, sounding like, but. Uh, he allowed me to speak at least um, four times at a special event that he was in charge of called Men of Valor. And Frankie, we had a relationship. The, the men, I don't know how many, uh, the men and I, and, and what? What I loved that they came away with from what I said to them was, never again. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that put you in here, Mm -hmm. never again. Mm -hmm. Never again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said it to me from time to time. Fellows who were leaving, Mr. Cosby, never again. Please. Mm -hmm. And... um, It was men of valor. And then the other thing is, and this may be very, very special, but I I think I have to say it anyway. I I was looking for something special to to give to these these men who will be getting out or in whatever amount of time they're going to work to to get out, go into society, and uh, behave. And I said, have you? Would you go into churches? And these are men; uh, they're religious now. They <clears throat> they believe. They read the scripture. Uh, <clears throat> they're quote unquote good people now. Mm-hmm. So, not to say that others who are not Christians, I don't want to get into any argument like. That, but these guys are kind of uh, special. I was brought up Protestant, so it's not not a big deal. And I said, you you remember in your churches, and these these men are of all colors, from Caucasian uh, on up to African. Mm-hmm. And uh, the I, I I said to them, I said, do you, in in the 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 colored glass art that you guys look at in your churches. There's, there's one of, there's Jesus, and uh, it's it, the, the glass and the light, and Jesus talking to the light. I said, uh, but when you think about Jesus, I said, in all the pictures that you've seen, drawings and everything, I said, you've you've never seen Jesus smile, and they all laughed. Mm-hmm. They all laughed. Said, you, you know, you're right. Jesus, is, Jesus doesn't smile. Mm-hmm. I said, and I think that if you come out and you're a different person, and whatever it was you did to get in here, and you say never again, and you were yeah. working to do what a man is supposed to do. All right. Yeah. Single or married, you know. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Cosby, we want to make Jesus smile. What, what in.